Hey guys, Eamon here, back with another Legend of Korra video. We are on Season 2, Book 2, I, I guess, um, Episode 1 and 2. Yeah, so we just finished uh, Book 1. Uh, that was I recorded that like last week, I believe. Yeah, so, sorry about how long it's been taking for each uh, upload lately. It's been a, yeah, been some stuff going on. Anyways, um, yeah, so Book book 2, uh, it sounds like it's going to be, a, it's a completely new story for Season 2, is from, 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 from what I understand, it's a completely new story. Um, yeah, I, I don't really know what to expect other than hoping it's good, hoping the villain's really cool. It's going to be hard to top uh, Amon as a villain, because that was a really, uh, really good villain. Um... Yeah, really good twist at the end of season season one there. Um, yeah, I don't have a whole lot to say other than yeah, we should probably just hop into it. Um, yeah, th uh, I guess yeah, for those of you that have been like watching and commenting and stuff, yeah, th thanks a lot for all the all the info and stuff. There's been tons of little corrections and like plot stuff I might have missed. Uh, that's always been helping me out, especially uh, yeah, as we as we go into a new show and all that um but yeah let's just let's just hop into this i guess uh make sure to sub if you're not uh, like the video if you end up enjoying it and comment uh any, anything i missed um as long as it's not like a spoiler i'm trying try to comment stuff that i might have missed that uh, is really important that yeah anyways yeah let's just hop into it and i guess looks like rose is gonna join us in the reaction here rose what are you doing you can only see your tail you can go you're gonna go up there rose Here we go. You gonna stay for the video? Yeah? No? Boop. Alright, you just gonna hang out there? <laughs> she just went on a walk. I don't know what the issue is. What? <laughs> what are you looking at me? All right. Yeah, I don't have my webcam set up, so I can't have a a secondary uh, camera on her if she does stay. But I'll check in with her if she's still there when we once we're watching the video. Actually, can you see her there? There you go. If she stays there. She'll be in the video. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Anyways, let's hop into this Legend of Korra. Should I, should I say book two? Let me know in the comments. If you, like, it says on Wikipedia it's book two, book three, etc. Most people just call TV shows by a season, though, so I don't know. But it makes me sound like more uh, more cultured calling it book two. Okay. What do you want? What do you want? You will lay down. Yeah. Okay. Why are you laying there? She's like laying on the ground away from me. <laughs> Six months ago, Avatar Korra defeated Amon okay. and the Equalists. Six months time then, jump. Okay. Disbanded, but unbeknownst to the Avatar, danger now threatens the Southern Water Tribe. Ah, okay, interesting. This your first watch? Mm-hmm. Well then, you better keep your eyes peeled, laddie. You never know what creatures lurk in the murky depths. Ah, what is that? Uh, sir? What? Ah. Man overboard! Man overboard! That looks really cool. Is it a spirit? Yeah, it's a spirit. Oh, yeah, book two, spirits, okay. Chapter one, rebel spirit. It's pro bending night in Republic City, and have we got a doozy Is Chorus still you? doing this? Fan favorites, the yeah, Fan okay, cool. are about to take on hot newcomers, the Rhino Lions. Rhino Lions. We all know that our last match was garbage. Terrible. Even Pabu. Um, what's his name? Was it Tano? I wonder if Korra like restored when when started restoring people's abilities. That'd be good. Yeah, that'd be cool. If maybe get rather Emmy Malik cameo again. I feel like she would have restored. Yeah. Because when you back a fire dart in the corner, well, Mister, he comes out fighting. So let's get out there and bend like there's no tomorrow. Are you with me? Oh, it's not Korra. Okay. They got new people. Oh, the fire ferrets go down in the Ooh, water like and that. right into the record books for the fastest knockout in pro bending history. <laughs> Where's Mako when I need him? Oh, lay down. Lay down. Jump. Cool. Cool. Go in the bed.
Nice. They're fighting crime. Jeez. Ooh, that was sick. Okay, that is awesome. That's freaking Batman. Looks like you had some car trouble. Good <laughs> thing the police are here. Okay, so Mako's police. I think these planes are finally nice. ready to ship. So. I hate to mention the elephant rhino in the room, but the since your father rhino. was thrown in prison, no company will work with us. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm going to the South Pole to meet with someone who can help us put future industries back on top. Okay. Peggy. <laughs> Let's go, Cara. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa. Did she just like tap into the avatar state? Yeah, what no the hell? Fair. You can't go into the avatar state to win. You did what? The <laughs> avatar state is not to be used as a booster rocket. <laughs> you are toying with a dangerous power. Yeah, that's you obviously insane. Do not Clearly you need more training to grasp the depths of your spiritual connections. Mm -hmm. Not to mention that you're still a long way from mastering airbending. I have mastered airbending. Punch, punch, punch. <laughs> See? Mastered. Looks pretty good to me. <sighs> Is it too late for you to unretire from the United <laughs> Forces? The paperwork's gone through, little brother. From now on, it's 24-7 booby time! <laughs> Aang must have, like, told him how Boomy acted and stuff and he kind of adopted that as his own personality because he's he seems kind of similar hopefully our visit to all of the air temples will give you the inspiration you need to delve more deeply into your studies <laughs> what, what is this can we case? see where grandpa ang was born how many levers can i have i want to tattoos <laughs> but instead of arrows i want lightning bolts now that the president is in office and i'm not needed on who's the, the council, president did they say or did i miss my that family and give cora the attention she needs Great. More attention. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll tag along just to see Vacation Tenzin. <laughs> You're not invited. Before we go on your dad's study trip, we're going to have some real fun in my hometown at the Glacier Spirits Festival. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> yep, there's Vacation Tenzin. <laughs> and you can't stop me from going to the festival. Mom already invited me. Oh. Grand Grand! Oh, you've all gotten nice. so big. We missed you, Aunt Kaya. Oh, Ooh, okay. I missed you too. It's another. Uh, Your father doesn't bring you to visit nearly enough. Another one of Aang's children. Beat him up like when we were kids. I'm not scared <laughs> of you anymore. <laughs> I need. You remember Mako? Sir, I hope you're not getting my daughter into any more trouble up in the city. <laughs> Knock it off, Dad. <laughs> Wow, look at all these people that came out to greet us. Uh, oh God, no, they came to greet them. Who is this? The great chief of the Northern Water okay. Tribe comes to grace us with his presence. Okay. Hooray. Is this going to potentially be Sokka's relatives? Whoa, who are the lovely ladies? That's Eska and Desna, the chief's children. Desna hmm. is a guy. Oh no, I'm sure <laughs> I knew that. Oh, and which one is Desna? <laughs> you can't tell. Good to see you again, Avatar Korra. Good to see you too. Tonrock? Brother. Oh, okay. Interesting. This festival used to be a solemn time of fasting and meditation. Now it's just a chance to watch some rube try to stick an entire arctic hen in his mouth. <laughs> traditions change. It's not the end of the world. Some traditions have purpose. Hmm. I'm surprised the Avatar doesn't know about that. It would be my honor to instruct you in the spiritual ways of the Water Tribe. 
Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind learning about fighting spirits. Airbending is getting pretty boring. Ten Corps <coughs> instructor. He can give her all the training. Shush. Hey. Holy crap, that scared me. Oh my god. Hopefully my reaction there was good when uh <laughs> when Rose barked. That scared the shit out of me. I think we had a, a delivery guy was delivering someone or something. He knocked on the door. Okay, let's get back to this. Everything's still set up. Yeah. I'm glad you came with me to this meeting. Varric is one of the richest men in the world, and he controls the entire global shipping business. So you're my assistant. Just stand there and don't say anything. Oh, okay. No problem. Pavin yeah, I kind of thought maybe uh, Bolin and Asami Man, might, uh, this is nice. might I end get up getting together. Business, Seems right? like it might work out that way. Did you see that? <laughs> Levitation! <laughs> it was a foot off the ground! Is that incredible or what? <laughs> it looked like you were just sitting on a pillow. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Are you saying I wasn't levitating? Well, why didn't anyone tell me? Now I look like an idiot! Swami, you're fired! <laughs> what? I like you, kid. You're a real straight shooter. Just like me. <laughs> Miss Sato, he's with you? Mm -hmm. Brought your tiger shark with you to do business, huh? Now that's moxie! <laughs> As you know, Future Industries is looking for a partner to handle our shipping. Sure, but first, you gotta check out my new venture. Moving pictures. Julie, Ooh. do the thing. Ooh, okay. You're gonna love this. Mind-blowing, right? Yeah. Now, forget that! <laughs> Imagine watching this. Ginger, come over here. Do your poses. <gasps> uh oh. Jesus Christ. Spectacular. <laughs> and we tell a yeah, story. Brendan There's romance, is, yeah. action, some funny uh, animal stuff for the kids. You know, whatever. <laughs> Thanks, Ginger. Go rest your gams. <laughs> your gams. We're gonna do big business with these movers, as I call them. Okay. Movers. But I'm just concentrating on getting future. Is movers the original term for movies? That'd be funny. Yeah, I have no idea. That'd be funny though. Stop. Look me in the eye. <laughs> Who is this guy? We got a deal. <laughs> <laughs> Do I know this now, voice actor? Who wants a rocket boat ride? I don't think so. You are a natural assistant. <laughs> He's gonna be assisting more things in the future, I think. Looks like someone's trying to take your place as the <laughs> Avatar stick in the mud mentor. <laughs> Boomy, don't pick on Tenzin. You know he's always been sensitive. <laughs> I'm not sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> as your chief, it is my honor to hmm. speak okay. at this festival. Tatara looked really which sad. Which was there, founded heard. to bring our tribes together and restore the ancient balance between our world and that of the spirits. But I am saddened to see what it has become. I fear the time is fast approaching when the North can no longer stand idly by while our southern brothers slip into total spiritual decay. I only hope we are not too late to change course. Interesting. He's totally gonna talk to the wrong one, right? Wish me luck. I'm making my move. Whee! Good luck. Hey, I'm Bolin, my friend of Korra's. You're uh, Eska, right? Yeah, what's going on with them? Did they just hiss <laughs> at him? <laughs> so, you are from the north, right? Cool, that's like, you know, that's like my favorite direction. <laughs> I think he is trying to establish some kind of bond with you based on your geographic point of origin. Perhaps it would be interesting to spend time with a person whose ways are so rough and uncultured. Who is that? Excuse me. I will make you mine. That's Aubrey Plaza. You That's Aubrey like Plaza. <laughs> or, or like a slave. Yes. Win oh your prizes. God. Oh my god. <laughs> the perfect character for her. Unalak offered to train me. He says he can teach me about the spirits and my connection to them. I didn't recognize the, the brother's voice what though. What does Tenzin think? Tenzin thinks again. I'm his prisoner. And one of his kids. I will never finish training with him in charge. <laughs> I mean, you heard what Unalak said. 
The South is spiritually unbalanced, and it's the Avatar's job to fix it. But my dad won't even let me think about Unalak teaching me. Well? Well what? What do you think I should do? I support whatever decision you make. Oh, my God, oh thanks. That's a big help. Thought you wanted me to be supportive. Now you want me to tell you what I think? Oh. <laughs> Just forget it. Okay. What's gonna happen now? Naga, what are you doing? Naga, hush. That's not good. Quiet, Naga. You wake everyone up. No, listen to her. Those visuals are sick. Jeez. <laughs> Spirit, why are you angry with us? Oh, Jesus. Avatar State. What's happening? Oh. Interesting. Some type of like water spirit bending thing? What the heck? What are we watching? What the heck? Go in peace. Whoa. Cora! Are you alright? How were you able to control that spirit when no one else could? As your father could tell you, I've spent my life studying the spirits and learning their ways. Hmm. All of this knowledge is lost in the South. But I could teach you everything I know. Chief Unalak, clearly you are very knowledgeable. But Korra still has much to learn about airbending, and I hope that going to the air temples will help her connect with the past avatars. <sighs> the air temples will teach her nothing. Only I can give her the training she needs. I've told you that will not happen. Anyone want to ask me what I think? You keep me locked up telling me you know what's best, but both of you were powerless against the spirit attack. <laughs> I think it's time I had a new teacher. Please, I know you're angry. But we've come so far together. I'm sorry, Tenzin. This is as far as we go. It has been a pleasure serving you, Avatar Korra. <laughs> I think you forgot a couple of things. Mother, I think I need some time alone with my family right now. When you get to be my age, you'll be thankful for the time you had with your siblings. Besides, I think it's important that you all visit your father's home together. <laughs> Come on, it'll be fun. I'm dying to see that laid-back vacation Tenzin <laughs> I've heard so much about. All right, hop on. <laughs> I love you, Mom. We'll see you soon. Can they connect with, with Aang's spirit? I forget. Can the Avatar's spirit talk to non-Avatars? So yeah, that'd be cool if they could see Aang again. Do you think I did the right thing? They must be able to, yeah. 
I'm sorry, but I'm not very good at this avatar counseling thing. <laughs> but I know your heart is in the right place. You'll just have to trust it. <laughs> I know this was a hard decision, Cora, but it was the right one. Now it is time to put it behind mm -hmm. you and begin your new training. I have great plans for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So that was episode one. And two. Uh, well, I'm just making you something black. Okay. There we go. Um. Yeah. Really, really strong start to the to the season. Um. Yeah. I guess the th the first thing I noticed was the avatar state. Uh, Korra's like pretty much mastered it. Um. I guess as soon as she unlocked her like ability to connect with the spirits, it just was like yeah, like it took her to a whole other level. And yeah, we have we have seen too like like Korra or yeah, Korra was this, is this like extremely strong as an avatar. Like she's she is well ahead of Aang and all that at her age. And yeah, with uh, actually I guess I don't know yeah from 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 a very young age she could do all the different bending. So yeah, she had has had a lot more practice than Aang had when we saw him in uh, in the Avatar show. Um, yeah, so she's like fully unlocked the avatar state, maybe to like a, a degree more than anyone else. Like, I don't think we saw that with the other avatar flashbacks we've seen where they could just like, literally just like, just for fun, switch into the avatar state, just like, like, like that for a second. Um, yeah, so that's really interesting, but she definitely needs, like, she's still not very mature. Like she needs to understand like how dangerous the avatar state is and all that. Um, doesn't seem to understand that at all. Um, yeah, and then what was what's the brother's name the that she's going to train with? Um, it was start with a U, I think. Un, Un, Unilac, Un, no, uh, what, I, I'm, I'll get it. I'll get the next episode. Um, but yeah, he, yeah, he was doing some weird type of like. Actually, I guess that would be like spirit healing, spirit water bending healing. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what that was. I'm assuming, assuming, yeah, the healing stuff. Um, he does give me a weird vibe though. Uh, I feel like he, there's something like, yeah, maybe Cora's dad does have a good reason to not like him. Um, there's, there's, yeah, he's giving me a weird vibe. So I think he might end up being bad or wanting to use Cora for bad and is gonna try to like, um, like twist, twist her, twist her mind or whatever to do what he wants. Um, yeah, that, that that was it's a weird vibe. It could be wrong. It could be just the spirits are like the main villain of the of the season, but um, yeah, he gave me a weird vibe. And yeah, Aubrey Pro, Aubrey, how how do I talk? Aubrey Plaza, yeah, Aubrey Plaza playing the one. I guess one of the prince the princess of the north. Um, yeah, perfect casting for the kind of vibe, like the two like twins that are just like super logical and like creepy. Um, that's pretty much Aubrey Plaza to a T, so <laughs> that's great casting. Almost feels like they wrote the character like for her, uh, based off that. Um, I didn't recognize the, the brother's voice. I'm going to assume the brother's also a famous person, famous uh, actor, because usually they, they seem to be doing that with most, like the kind of the smaller parts in, in the seasons that are usually, um, in Korra have been like famous actors, so... Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that the, the brother's someone I just didn't recognize at the top of my head. But yeah, Aubrey Plaza obviously is her voice is pretty. Uh, I think most people or not most people that watch TV would probably recognize that voice anywhere because she's in lots of stuff and yeah, obviously yeah, really funny, really funny person. Yeah, so yeah, that's episode one. Let's just hop in episode two. Um, I'm probably gonna record that uh, a bit later today, so. Yeah, the lighting would be different and all that, but uh, yeah, we'll be back in a bit. Chapter 2, The Southern Lights. Ooh. Even more spirits, okay. We're going to one of the most remote places in the world, the long-neglected spiritual center of your tribe. You're going to train me at the South Pole? We will do more than just train. Mm -hmm. By neglecting the spirits, the people of the South have brought darkness upon themselves. And now it threatens to destroy our tribe. The Southern Water Tribe depends on you. A dangerous trip to the South Pole? Count me in! <laughs> there it is, the yes. Southern Air Tribe. Isn't it magnificent? They fixed it up. Tenzin, welcome. 
And you must be the Honorable Pema. Please accept these gifts. This is an ancient airbender head shaver we've refurbished just for you. Oh. Okay. And Pema, these flowers once filled the mountainside. Now they can brighten up your room. Jeez. That's sweet. Y you didn't have to. Nonsense. Anything for the mother of the next generation of airbenders. No! <laughs> That gift is mine. You don't even like to read. Nah. <laughs> Mommy, Daddy, look. I finally got a little uh. I'm going to name him Pokey. Pokey. Pokey, come back. <laughs> Pokey. I thought you said Bolin was coming. He said he'd be here, but I can't worry about it. I heard you're taking Cora to the South Pole. I'm coming. Absolutely <laughs> not. My daughter is not going without me. The sad truth is it's men like your father who have put the spirit world out of balance. He's ignored my warnings in the past and hasn't learned since. What happened in the past? It doesn't matter. What matters is the Everstorm. The Everstorm? It's a massive blizzard that's battered the South Pole for decades. I'm coming. Unless you think you can stop me. Hmm. Guys, hey, wait for me! <laughs> Check it out. I'm traveling in style. Uh, where'd you get the ride? Varric, he's awesome. He also gave me this fancy snowsuit. It's inflatable with an internal heater, emergency beacon, and food ration pouch. Who wants some freeze-dried cucumber quads? <laughs> Nobody? <laughs> no, the conversation is over. Does this sidecar have the capacity for two passengers? Sure <laughs> does. But, uh, who's gonna drive? <laughs> well, what do you know? Looks like- Go away, Mako. <laughs> so, once we get to the South Pole, then what happens? At the South Pole, there is a portal that connects our world to the spirit okay. world. But it has long been closed. And that's why the evil spirits are attacking? There are no evil spirits. There is light and dark in them all. Jeez. But when they're unbalanced, the darkness takes over. Damn, okay. Ah. What are those? Multiple. Dark spirits. Let's keep moving. We have to find a safe place to set up camp. Uncle, why do you think the dark spirits are following us? The spirits are angry because he's here. Haven't you ever wondered how your father ended up in the South Pole? Unalak, this is not the time. You're right. You should have told her a long time ago. Told me what? I left the North Pole because... I was banished. Ooh, okay. Twenty years ago, I was a general in the Northern Water Tribe. Brother, we're being attacked! I drove them out of the city and deep into the frozen tundra. Oh, what the... We tracked them deep into an ancient forest. Many believed this forest was the home to spirits. And the barbarians retreated there because they thought we wouldn't attack on such hallowed grounds. They thought wrong. <laughs> We captured the barbarians, but in the process we destroyed the forest. Jeez. How did that even... I didn't realize the consequences of what I had done. By destroying the forest, I unknowingly let loose angry spirits. Okay, that's so creepy looking. Yeah, it's it. Am I supposed to have a water he Unalak healing, spirit healing thing? To the forest. Yeah. But by then, the damage had been done. Hmm. That's when I came to the south and started a new life. Okay. I can't believe you kept this from me. I was protecting you from the shame I brought on the family. Why do you keep hiding things from me and then telling me it's for my own protection? I'm tired of you protecting me. <laughs> Cora. Wow. 
The statue room. That's right, Jinora. The most sacred place in the entire Southern Air Temple. Here you will find statues of every avatar who ever lived. Where are your brother and sister? Oh my god. You can't catch me! I'm the greatest air skater of all time! Don't crash. Milo! <laughs> Did he just destroy a statue? What were they saying? Did they ever meet Aang? I forgot how long ago he passed away. Oh. What's going on here? What was that? Okay, that, that was weird. I don't want to see what happened there. Korra, you have every right to be mad at me. But I don't want you to make the same mistake I made. I should have never gone into that forest. Spirit and the physical world should remain separate. Dad, it's my job to be the bridge between the spirits and the physical world, and I finally have a chance to live up to my potential. You don't even know if what Unalak says is true. You want proof? Look to the sky. Where I'm from, the spirits are at peace, and they light up the dark. There used to be lights in the south as well. But during the Hundred Year War, the south was thrown out of balance, and the lights disappeared. When the war ended, the North helped to rebuild you physically as a nation. But we have not rebuilt you spiritually. Now the spirits mm -hmm. no longer dance in your skies. Instead, they rampage in the Everstorm. I think we're here! Jesus. Is that what I think it is? We must keep moving! <laughs> I really don't like this. Bolin, just stay calm. There's no reason to. Uh, 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 whoa. Okay. <laughs> uh oh. I can't stop it. I'll save you. <laughs> <I'm a raft. laughs> They're just like the chillest ever. <laughs> uh, can someone please deflate me? <laughs> There goes our equipment. Now what are we supposed to do? There's only one thing to do. We have to turn back. No. The solstice is tonight. We're so close. This mission is too dangerous. We're leaving. No, Dad. You're leaving. Hmm. We've arrived. Trees frozen in ice. It's Jeez. just like the sacred forest Tonrak destroyed in the north. So what do I do? You must find your way to the heart of the forest where the dormant spirit portal lies. From here, you're on your own. What is it? I guess I'm just so used to people telling me how to do things that I forgot what it was like to have someone trust in me. Korra, all the past avatars live on inside of you. Let them guide you. Let them help you find the light in the dark. Hmm. Wait here. I'll be okay. Good luck.
Okay, what happened with her? Let's see. What was that that she saw? <gasps> what avatar is this? Yeah, what? The light in the dark. Huh. Why isn't it opening? It's not great. Come on, portal, open! Who is that? Oh, okay. Oh, jeez. Seeing that from a uh, spirits dancing in the sky. Jeez. Yeah, what is that? It's beautiful. <laughs> Okay, some okay. She did it. <laughs> nice, let's go, Cora. Hey, Cora's back. She's gonna be like different. Why are you initiating <laughs> physical contact with another woman? <laughs> <laughs> Everything you said was true. Avatar Korra, you have taken the first step in bringing balance back to the South. Mm -hmm. You never cease to amaze me. Thanks. By the way, I'm really sorry for being a total pain. Things were really stressful and confusing. It's hard being the Avatar. It's harder being the Avatar's boyfriend. <laughs> okay, what's going on at the Air Temple, though? That... This kind of seems to be implying the spirits aren't going to be the main... Well, no, the, 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 the book is taught titled Spirits, but is it going to be like some... Oh, what's this? What's going on here? What are all your northern troops doing here? Opening the spirit portal was only the first step oh, in okay. getting the southern water tribe back on its righteous path. Okay, he's taking it over. There's more difficult work to be done before our two tribes are truly united. He's like starting a war. Or an invasion. Alright. Interesting, okay. Yeah. So that, yeah, that was a great great start to the to season two um really really interested to see how it's gonna play out like a yeah the the the, the name of the season is spirit so there's gonna be lots of spirit stuff going on but yeah it seemed like they kind of wrapped that up pretty fast like the whole evil spirit so yeah it looks like they're planning an invasion of like of the southern water tribe from the northern water tribe to kind of yeah yeah that that seemed yeah that the, that character seemed pretty iffy he seemed like he had like ulterior is that the right word ulterior motives how do you, how do you pronounce that <laughs> ulterior yeah whatever we'll go with that ulterior motives um yeah doesn't doesn't seem like core is gonna quite enjoy what he's trying to do there now um but yeah so it's really cool really cool um yeah awesome visuals again that'll that'll be the thumbnail i'd assume probably when the uh, this portal gets opened um 
Yeah, and then at the at the air tribe, at the southern air tribe, there was some weird, like creepy looking avatar, like wooden statue that lit up. Um, it seemed like it almost moved when we first saw it. Um, I forget what what the what the kid's name is there. Um, I, I I haven't gotten yeah, I don't remember their names. I just know uh, Milo. I don't remember the two the two girls' names. They look pretty similar. It's hard to tell them apart. But um. Yeah, that was really creepy, and I that might be the big bad of the season, maybe whatever that was. Like, is, is it some like evil, like an avatar that went evil, and is his spirits like like bad? I guess I don't know. That 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 could be a cool plot uh, plot point because yeah, we haven't really seen like a big bad for the season. Like, I, I have a hard time believing that Northern Water Tribe uh, chief would be like the big bad of a season. But I mean, I, it could be, I guess. But no, I think I think it's definitely gonna be more the Southern Weather Tribe stuff there. Um, yeah, an, an evil avatar that'd be cool. That's somehow like still in the spirit world and is like trying to get through. That that'd be a really cool uh, storyline. Um, yeah, we'll send it there. A really, really good start to the season. Yeah. All right. Yeah. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a sub, drop a like, comment, what you should check out in the future. Um, yeah, we got Cora going to sh keep shooting for three days a week. Um, yeah, <laughs> have a good one.